Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing bar graph data interpretation. I am continuing bar graph data interpretation. First of all, we need to read the information carefully and then we need to solve the questions according to the given information. First, whatever the information which is provided in the bar graph, we need to understand that information. After that, we need to solve the questions according to the information. See here. The number of students, the number of students enrolled in three different districts in uh, six different years. Here, the information is about uh, how many students are enrolled. How many students are enrolled from three different districts? District A, District B, District C. These are the three different districts and uh, the years over the years from 2005 to 2000. 2005, 2006, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Total 6 years. And one more information is all the values which are given in this bar graph. All the values are in terms of thousands. All the values which are given in this bar graph in terms of thousands. For example, if you look at this one, this one is at 8. It is nothing but 8,000. The meaning of this one is 8000. Likewise, you need to take the values. Okay. And uh, if you look at the graph, uh, here the scale is uh, 0 to 2, gap 2. Next 2 to 4, gap 2. Again gap 2, again gap 2. Likewise, gaps are there. And uh, in case, uh, as the values are not mentioned in this uh, particular bar graph diagram, if it is exactly touches the line, then you can take directly that particular value. If it is in between any two lines, then you have to take the mid value of those two values. Suppose, for example, if the bar graph is between 8 and 6, then you need to take that value as 7. 7,000. Okay. This is 7,000. Likewise, you need to take the values. This is about the information. Now we need to solve the questions according to the information. What was the percentage increase in enrollment in the number of students in District C 2007? 2007 District C. Here the value 2007 District C that is 9. 2007 District C. 2007 District C. DST C and uh, as compared to that of previous year, previous year in the sense that is 2006 uh, district C. So, first take 2007 district C, which is uh, 9, whereas 2006, uh, 2006 uh, district C, which is uh, 8. Here we need to calculate. Uh, Percentage decrement, percentage increment from 2007, uh, from 2006 to 2007. How can you calculate percentage increment? It is very simple. Percentage increment is nothing but difference between those two values divided by less value. Difference between those two values divided by less value into 100 percentage into hundred percentage whenever you are calculating percentage into hundred percentage symbol that is a common thing therefore the required percentage increment required percentage increment is equal to difference between those two that is 9 minus 8 divided by less value is 8 so the required answer will be 1 by 8 into 100 1 by 8 into 100 if it is 1 by 8 into 100, it is exactly 12.5 percentage. 12.5 percentage. That is the increment value. Here, there is an increment of 12.5 percentage from 2006 to 2007 per district C. That is uh, option D, 12.5. Option D is the right answer for this question. Let's see the next question. What is the difference between? We need to calculate the difference. Difference between which numbers? Number of students enrolled in all three districts together in the year 2008, 
and the number of students enrolled in district b over all the years together see uh, we need to calculate the difference between 2008 total 2008 total and then district b total first we need to calculate the uh, total of 2008 and then total of uh, district b then we need to take the difference between those two values first uh, i am writing total of 2008 here 2008 value sir here it is uh, first value is 8 8 and second value 6 third value 7 8000 6000 7000 we need to add all these values three zeros are common and next uh, here it is uh, 14 plus 7 21 21000 2008 total 21000 and next uh, district b total here write down all the districts uh, values here it is 5 here it is 4 and this is uh, 7 6 and next uh, 4 again and then it is uh, 7 write down all the values and then add here it is 5000 Plus four thousand, plus uh, third value is seven thousand, and next value six thousand, next value four thousand, next value seven thousand. You need to add all these values. Sir. Last three zeros are common, and then six plus four ten, ten plus uh, five fifteen, fifteen plus seven twenty two, twenty two plus four. 22 plus 4, 26. 26 plus 7, 33. District B total 33,000. District B total 33,000 and uh, 2008 total 21,000. Now we need to calculate the difference between these two values. Uh, difference is nothing but highest value minus lowest value. Highest value 33,000 minus lowest value 21,000. Which is equal to thirty-three minus twenty-one. How much it is? Twelve thousand. Twelve thousand is the required difference between uh, those values. Twelve thousand. Option A is the right answer for this question. Option A. Next, third question. What was the approximate average number of students enrolled uh, in District A over all the years together? We need to calculate the average average of district A over all the years together, which is nothing but uh, average is equal to what sum of observations by number of observations. Sum of district A, sum of district A divided by number of years, number of years that will gives the average approximate average of number of students enrolled. Uh, From district A over all the years uh, together, therefore the required average is equal to. First, write down one by one. Here, district A values. This is three, and this one is uh, five. This one six, and next uh, eight, and next seven, and next one five. Add all the values. Three thousand plus five thousand. Plus six thousand, plus eight thousand, plus seven thousand, plus five thousand, divided by, divided by, total number of uh, years. Total number of years, uh, six years. Uh, number of years, sir, uh, six. Uh, average is equal to. Add all the values once. Uh, here it is. Uh, three thousand plus seven thousand. Ten thousand, five thousand, five thousand, ten thousand. Total twenty thousand, twenty-eight thousand. Twenty-eight plus six, thirty-four thousand. Thirty-four thousand divided by six, which is equal to you can cancel with two table. Seventeen thousand divided by three. If you cancel with two table, two three is two seventeen. Seventeen thousand divided by three. Now this value will not cancel. So we are calculating the approximate average. 
approximate average is equal to here it is uh, 3 5 sir 3 5 sir 15 next 20 20 in the sense uh, 3 6 sir again 20 3 6 sir again 20 3 6 sir therefore the approximate average value is uh, 5666 5666 which is option b option b is the right answer for this question option b next one in which year was the number of students enrolled in all the three districts together the second highest second highest in which year we need to calculate 2005 onwards 2005 2006 2007, 2008 and then 2009, 2010. We need to calculate uh, one by one. First, we will start with uh, 2005. 2005 values 3, 5, 6, 3000, 5000, 6000. Total value. Here it is uh, 11 plus 3, 14,000. 14,000. 2005 value that is 14,000. Next, 2006 value. Here it is 5, 4 and then uh, 8. 5,000, 4,000 and then 8,000. Add all these three values. 12 plus 5. 12 plus 5 uh, 17. 17,000 and next uh, third one 2007 here it is 679 6,000 7,000 9,000 add all these values 7 plus 9 16 16 plus 6 uh, 22 22,000 next 2008 here it is 8,000 and then 6,000 and then uh, 7,000. 8,000 plus 6,000 plus 7,000. Add all these values. Uh, here you will get uh, 21,000. 14 plus 7, 21,000. And next, uh, 2009 and 10. Last. Here it is uh, 7, 4 and then 5. 7,000, 4,000. 5,000. Add all these three values. 4 plus 5, 9. 9 plus 7, 16. 16,000. And next one, 4 plus 1, 5. And then uh, 7. And then 6. 5,000 plus 7,000 plus 6,000. Add all these values. 7 plus 6, 13. 13 plus 5. 13 plus 5, 18. 13 plus 5, 18. Now, all total values are calculated. Now, according to the question, we need to find the second highest. Second highest, that is in which year? Once you get all the values. Highest value. First of all, the highest value, 22,000. This is highest. So, this is not your answer less than 22,000 and uh, very close to 22, that is uh, 21,000. Remaining all values are less than 20,000. So, second highest, second highest, uh, that is 21,000, which is in the year 2008. 2008, the value will be uh, second highest, uh, all together, all together, three districts, that is, uh, Second highest in the year 2008. Option C is the right answer for this question. Last question in this session. Total number of students enrolled in district A and district B together in the year 2010 was what percentage of total number of students enrolled in district A in the year 2008? Here we need to calculate the percentage what is that percentage? Here the total number of students enrolled in the district A and uh, B together. District A and B 
together in the year 2010 this value together value what percentage of uh, total number of students enrolled uh, district uh, a in the year 2008 uh, this is the percentage we need to calculate and whenever you are calculating percentage don't forget to multiply with 100 and put the percentage symbol at the end therefore our required percentage is equal to district a and b 2010 district a and b 2010 first 2010 a value a value 5 and uh, b value b value is uh, 7 5000 plus 7000 divided by 5000 plus 7000 divided by 2008 district a district a 2008 which is 8000 right 8000 into 100 percentage into 100 percentage which is equal to 12000 divided by 8000 into 100 percentage here it is uh, 2 and this is 3. 3 by 2 into 100 which is equal to 2 ones are 250. Sir. 3 into 50. 3 into 50. 150 percentage. 150 percentage is the right answer for this question. Option A. Option A is the right answer. Guys, I hope you understand each and every problem in this session. And uh, thank you. Thanks for watching.